Now all you kids got a release form. You fill it out, you sign it, and then you hand it over when you get your official entry numbers. Only read it first. If you break a leg, we fix it. If you catch a cold, there's free aspirin. But acts of God, the management is strictly not to be held to account. Fire, flood, double pneumonia, that's between you and him. So read it and then sign it. timers we can go around the clock and around and around and around. Ten minute break every two hours. Rollo. exactly 30 seconds to get a moving again. No excuses, no explanations. 30 seconds. If it's two knees, Rollo. That's it, out. O-U-T, out. Now we're going to run it as fair as human nature allows. So in one of the judge's rules, that's it. No appeals. When your partner is ruled out, you can solo for 24 hours. If you match up with another solo, fair enough. Otherwise, that's it. Out. There'll always be a trainer or a nurse on duty and a doctor out here 24 hours a day. Okay? Now food. Four regular meals and three small ones each day. Now. What the hell's going on over there? Sorry. Hey, kid, fill this out. Huh? Hey, get over there. I, I was just... Come on, get over there. Get over there. Now, there'll be two judges on the floor at all times, nurses and trainers in the rest areas. Any questions, come up and ask them. Hey, fellas, give me a break. In a couple of hours, we fling open the magic doors of fame and fortune, so line up and get your numbers. Yeah, 
What do you want these, Rocky? Three of the seconds. Ricky, check the rest areas. Some system. Just like the fleet. Line up and wait only long. Hey, how about goosing it up a little? You get your turn. Take it easy, huh? Hey, what's this stuff, Booch? No, that, that's for my stomach. I got a bad stomach. Paragoracopian base. No number. Hey, look, he's got another one. It's medicine. I, I gotta take it to my stomach. So take it somewhere else. I got enough trouble without a hop in. You heard him. School's all the flow. That's no fair. Just because the guy's got a Fire bad stomach. Fire a lawyer. Come on, next. Move it up. Once between hitches, I worked a cattle boat out of Galveston. Same thing. You, you know what I mean? No, I didn't think I do, actually. Well, what I mean is, if you think about it, cattle ain't got it much worse than us. They got it better. There's always somebody feeding them. Sure. Stuffing them up good for the slaughter pen. Right down the chute and some big dumb bullhunk is standing there with a sledgehammer. Boom. But they don't know what's gonna happen. That puts them one up on us, don't it? Yeah. If you think of it that way. <coughs> what's the matter with him? Nothing. Especially of some kind. I'm an actress, Alice LeBlanc, from London. What do you got, like an actor? But maybe let's see a little. Well, uh, if you give us a few seconds, we could uh, work something up, okay? Yes. They told me you were fools. But I was not to listen to your fine words, not trust to your charity. Jesus Christ. You promised me my life, but you lied. You think that life is nothing but not being stone dead. Alice. Hey, that's great. I really mean it. Shakespeare, huh? It's from St. Joe. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, maybe it's a little too high, Rob, but don't you worry. I'll set up something just right for you. Okay, next. Hey, 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 sailor. Sailor. Rock. Look at this. 31. Yeah, 31. What do I need? A note from my mother? It's your feet, sailor. <laughs> Next. Move it. Move it. <coughs> Doc. You sick or something? It's all right. Open up. Wider. Huh? Wider. Hey, what is this? He's all right. Bronchitis, maybe. Yeah, maybe the Mongolian crud. No dice, kid. You infect the whole place, and I got the health department well, setting up a squad. It. That's it's... the way it is. What's it? Oh, Next. Get... I'm sorry, Gloria. That's a big help. Listen, you're the one that talked me into I'm this. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, what about me? I'm sorry. How many you got? That's what he said. I can't buy coffee uh, and cigarettes with it. Look, I can't make exceptions. How many you got? 71 gone through, and I'm holding out for a few pros. What about her? Hey, listen, she ain't pregnant. I'm Nelson Eddy. So what's healthier than having a kid? And it gives the audience something to root for. You see, come in, sir. So what do you want me to do? Run out quick and get knocked up? We could discuss it later. That soap's a little hard. Sir, is this or not? Just hold on a second. You got any other suggestions? Get yourself another partner. Yeah, where? Hey, cowboy! Yeah, you! Come here. Good luck, Bates. Keep the line moving. Look, I was just out walking. I didn't come here to be in. Matter of fact. What's your name, cowboy? Robert. Robert Cyberton. Rocky! In a minute! You got a partner, Richard? No, I. It's Robert. No, I was just walking. There you are, miss. How's he gonna dance in those things? How do you I mean know? boots? They're not mine. I, I roomed with another guy. He went away and left them behind. He's gonna break an arch. Take him off a pair of shoes. Or maybe you'd rather wait for the Prince of Wales. Have I got a choice? Yeah. Take it or leave it. Yowza, yowza! 
Mr. Yowza. Welcome to the Dance of Get Destiny, your ladies and gentlemen. Get your red hot. Around and around and around we go, and we're only beginning, folks. Only beginning. On and on and on. And when will it stop? When will it end? When? Only when the last two of these wonderful, starry-eyed kids are left. Only when the last two dancers stagger and sway, stumble and swoon across the sea of defeat and despair to victory. One couple and only one will waltz out of here over broken bodies and broken dreams, carrying the grand prize of 1,500 silver dollars. Mr. Lightman! The clock of fate, ladies and gentlemen. I said the prize because only one couple will dance on to fame and fortune. Those who give up, those who give out, those who give in, out! Tough rules, but these are tough times. In the words of our great leader, Herbert Hoover, prosperity is just around the corner. But what do we say about the Depression? That's what we say about the Depression. Come on, let's hear it, folks. Let's hear it! Walking dead night, Turkey. Pour me a shot of water. So pick your couple, folks. Struggle with them, hope with them, cry with them. See if you can pick out that one lucky couple and then cheer them on. Come on, let them hear you care, folks. Let them know you're with them all the way. You hear that, kids? You hear those wonderful folks out there rooting for you? Now, come on, kids, show them you care. A little, a little sprint for those wonderful folks out there. That's it. You see them give, folks? You see them give? That's the spirit. Why California? You don't freeze while you're starving. <laughs> and that's the movies. Oh, are you an actress? I've done four atmosphere bits since I've been here. I'd have done more, but I can't get into central casting. They got it all sewed up. Don't you know anyone who can help you? In this business, how can you tell who can help you? One day you're an electrician, the next day you're a producer. The only way I could ever get near a big shot is to jump on the running board of his car. God, check that one. Anyway, I don't know if the men's stars can help me as much as the women's stars. From what I've been seeing lately, I think I've been letting the wrong sex try to make me. Huh. You in movies, too? Sort of. I was a dead French villager in Fallen Angels. Wasting your time, kiddo. Only thing casting von Sternberg's raw earth. Strictly an all peasant talkie. I could play a peasant. Not in that thing you couldn't. You like? Doesn't matter. Not so long as they do. Hey, sweetie. Got another partner, huh? Oh, only he don't look much healthier than the last one. What are you, a doctor? He don't mean nothing, honey. Just trying to be helpful. Cod liver oil. You ought to take some, maybe. He's just steaming because you got 20 years on him. Maybe more like 30. Well, that's where you got your signals mixed up, sweetie. Yeah, experience, that's what counts. Keep your eyes open, Buster. Pick up the beat and try to stay with it, will you? Stop time! That's the kind of contestants we've got for you, folks. Very classy, sailor. You must have killed him in Roseland. Back before the How about a big hand for our very own ancient? 
Russian mariner, Harry Klein. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Thank you, folks. That's very generous. You can all see that Harry used to be in the U.S. Navy. There's something you can't see. I'd like to be serious for a moment, folks, if you'll permit me. Harry Klein is one of those brave young men who sailed off to beat the Kaiser. That's right, a veteran of the Great War. And let's hope there'll never be another. Harry. Harry was decorated in that war for wounds received in action. But that's not all. I know Harry wouldn't want me to tell you this, but right now, at this moment, there are 32 separate pieces of shrapnel still embedded in Harry's body. 32! And here he is, fighting another kind of war and fighting to win. Isn't that the kind of grit and never-say-die spirit that's made this a great country? It is, isn't it? You bet it is. And I really mean that sincerely, folks, from the bottom of my heart. I should have learned how to tap dance. Okay. Hope I don't start lugging on you. Hey, you ain't never lugged on me. Just keep thinking about them seven meals a day they're gonna be feeding us. Can you feel that? What? The ocean. The waves, you can feel them right through the floor. You know, even when you're a long ways away from it, you can still feel it sometimes. Not where I'm from. Where's that? Around. Kansas, Texas, mostly Dallas. That must have been nice. Nice? Well, I've never actually been through there, but that's the way it always seemed to me. You know, like you could look just about anywhere and see land. I mean, with nothing set down on it. Yeah, it's great. I'm a real sucker for dirt and cactus. That's how come I left. Well, why did you leave? You ever been to bed with a Syrian who chewed tobacco? Well, if anybody ever asks you, you can tell them there's no future in it. What do you want, the whole floor? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Well, when she's throwing it around, her feet will last longer than her rear end. He was a butcher. Who was? A Syrian. Hey, listen, I didn't mean to be personal. I was just, I didn't mean to be personal. Yeah, then why'd you ask? Well, just to make conversation. I mean, we're going to be stuck together for a long time. Don't I strain I might... anything for me. All right. Yowza, yowza, yowza. This is novelty night. We've got a husband and wife dancing together. Mr. and Mrs. Aura McCusick Mary from Minneapolis, Minnesota. There's a couple from Alaska. Remember, there's no place like Nome. Don't forget to write your poor old mother. Yowza, yowza, yowza. All right, kiddies, it's opening night. Smile for the audience. What audience? Don't worry about that. Huh? He could get you disqualified. I've been disqualified by experts. Ten minutes and then they'll be back. And the World's Championship Marathon will go on and on. Excuse me, girls. Miss LeBlanc, you got that specialty bit down yet? I'm memorizing it now. Every line. 
Swell. Come by my office next break. Maybe we'll run through it. <clears throat> Better get off your feet. the baby do? I don't know. What'd the doctor say? Well, see, James and me been hitching, riding boxcars. Nature's little miracle. Christ. What? What's the use of having a kid unless you've got enough dough to take care of it? You better get off your feet, honey. You only got another five minutes. Folks can't stop having babies because they don't got no money. You intend to keep it? Well, I could never get... Jimmy wants the baby. Yeah. Why not drop another sucker into this mess? I told you guys, no roughhousing. Now, no grab ass there, college kid. I'll be out of there, boy. Well, this ain't for me. I got sensitive feet. Next time, I think I'm gonna try flagpole sitting. <laughs> you guys are crazy, ain't you? Yeah, that's really pitiful, man. Can't even make it to the first rest period. This here's my eighth marathon already. My wife and I even won one in Oklahoma City one time. We went. 1,253 hours of continuous motion. First one of these, I can't... I'm fine, It ain't fresh cabin. Hell, it ain't even steerage, but it's better than nothing. Well, I figured I wasn't doing anything else real important, so here I am. You know what I'd do if I was your age, kid? I'd join up all over again, the fleet. No, I don't think I'd like that. I mean, I'd like to be able to move on if I got bored or something, you know? Bumming? That's all right for a while. But man's got to belong somewhere. You know, be part of something. I mean, that's human nature, right? Well, I guess I never really thought about it much. Yeah, well, you will. When you get to be my age, you will. Not that I'm not old, you know. That's the muscles up here to count, kid. Even more so than your legs. Right up in there. Get that in Paris? No. My mother made it for me. Do you like it? It's 
uh, very nice. Easy go. Here we are. So, darling. Already. He said after the first hundred hours, you start getting used to this. What are you looking at? There's a partially broken window up there someplace. I was trying to see if it was light out yet. It's four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I know. Sometimes down by the beach, it gets light by four. It's like that in Hawaii. Because it's an island, you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, like, you can look right out across the ocean to where the light is. You can even stand in one spot and watch the sun come up on one side of the world and go down on the other side. How'd you get out there, Hawaii? Oh, I've never been there, actually. But you can imagine what it's like. Yeah, you can imagine you're Gary Cooper, too, I suppose. Oh, I didn't mean that at all. Look, why are you always trying to start an argument? All I meant was... Hey, you tell that twist to lay off of my wife. She was at it again. Every one of them rest periods, she's on her all the time about why don't she have it cut out? Why don't she get rid of it? Well, she's giving Ruby the jumps, and I ain't having my wife upset by no tramp like her. Go to hell, you big ape. Don't. Boy, next time I'm on the line. Hey, knock it off. Why well, you know the rules? No fights on the floor. Now, what do you think? This is a joy, this something? I'm keeping an eye on you. Which one? Did you see the face on that corn pony? Could have killed you. Yeah, I guess. Well, then why did you do it? Because you're my partner. got left. Wouldn't you know it? I got the curse coming on. Well, don't let them give you any coat. It'll pass you out. Around and around and around, 97 hours of continuous motion. And look at him, folks, still struggling, still hoping to win the grand prize of 1,500 silver dollars. Let's give these wonderful, courageous kids a great big hand, huh, folks? That's the spirit. You want to sleep some? Too tired to sleep. Sailor says you gotta go a long time, maybe 500 hours before you can get so you can sleep while you're still moving. You look tired. No kidding. Why don't you try sleeping on my shoulder? I won't let you slip. You can trust me. That's what the last guy said. What? Forget it. Gloria. She's there again. She must live here. We really ought to be nice to her, you know. Lolo told me she's trying to get us a sponsor. Nobody asked her to. Look, it could mean four bucks a week, clean socks and new shoes. Come on. I'm Mrs. Layton. Yes, ma'am, we know. One of the four judges told us about how you're trying to get us a sponsor. Well, that's because you're my favorite couple. You're wearing my number, 67. That's the year I was born. Really? We're not supposed to stay in one spot for too long. Oh, I understand. You go along, but don't give up. 
Because you're going to win. I know you are. But you know. Tell me it was gonna be this tough. You're holding your knees too tight. Nuts up the muscles. Sixty-five. Figured it out. That's how old she is. God, I hope I never live to be that old. That's not the way it happened. It wasn't like that. We were very close, in a way. I was her friend. Yowza, yowza, watch me, folks, it's all part of the show. Seven meals a day, seven, count them. Believe me, these boys and girls can really put it away. And what's your name, my dear? And how are you enjoying the food? Good. Hear that, folks? After four days of continuous dancing, these boys and girls may not be well healed, but you can bet they're well stuffed. Ten minutes' time is all they have to eat it in, and they must keep moving, they must keep dancing at all times. How are you doing, sailor? I feel fine, I feel fine. The food is prepared in our own kitchens by our own culinary experts at great expense to the management, but they believe that these boys and girls should be well fed. Keep eating, kiddies, keep dancing. Yowza, yowza, yowza. I have to. Yeah. How are you going to feed it after you got it? Sponsor has come forward to back still another pair of our spunky kids. Couple number 67, Gloria Beatty and Robert Cyberton. Let them see the company. Let them see the company that's back here to win, kids. Congratulations, kids. Congratulations. And who knows, folks, with a sponsor like that, they may just win. Suppose we did win. What would you do with it? What? 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 The money. Maybe I'd buy some good rat poison. Shake me out of butt turkey. Listen to him. Those wonderful, wonderful people. Yowza. 
Shut it. Shut the goddamn door. Wonderful. You gotta understand him, is all. You know something, Turkey? My old man never got out of the fourth grade. But when it came to people, he didn't know his ass from his elbow. You know what he was? He was a faith healer. I used to travel a circuit with him. I was the one he healed. I was his shell to get the crowd set up. Walk, my boy. When I lay my hand on you, you will walk. You will walk. That sudden old bastard. He thought it was him they believed in. But it was me. Here's a guy whose fingers stretched over 13 notes. What are you doing here? It's a rest period. You're supposed to be off your feet. I was just looking at the sunset. Go on. Get off your feet. OK. Sunset. Matron. 
Samar. Matron! It's gone. It's gone. What's gone? My, my dress! It's right in front of you. No, no. My other one, my pink one. I, I, the chemicals for my hair. My rouge. Oh. And, and my lipstick. Oh. Everything is gone. Somebody's oh. taking it out of my bag. No, nobody's taking anything. It's probably just slipped under no. here. No. They did it. One of them stole my oh, ring. Not you. Stop. Stop it. Right. Get it. Wait a minute. You stop it. Oh, you're nice. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. Hey, 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 hey. What the hell's Damn going it. on you here? Stop. Who are you, sorry? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hurry up and get out there. Hey, is she squirrely? Oh, I don't think so. My pink satin one. Honey, you better shake it up. You only got a couple of seconds left. But I only have two dresses. Later. Just hustle my your fanny out there. Come on. Come on. Nobody wants your dress. Please wait. Please wait. I can wear your other one. Please wait. Brother, can you spare a dime? Uh-huh. Why? Nothing. What are they doing it for? It's not for fun. I'm bell on that. Christ. Here it comes. I can't. Oh, Jimmy, I don't think I can. Yeah, you can, honey. Just don't start thinking about it now. Son of a bitch. The thing to remember, kids, is this is the kind of stunt that packs him in. Listen, we'll even get some of the Hollywood crowd out there tonight. Now, get one of those uniforms they're passing out and make sure you tie your numbers on. A hey, number 63. Easy on the goods, huh? Listen, kids, these track outfits are being rented for one time and one time only, so any rips, tears, or malicious damage do get charged, okay? Now, we don't have enough uniforms to go around, so the rest of you will have to wear sweatsuits, but they're very nice. We'll have the doctor and the nurses on the floor, so no one has to worry. Now, you kids who are pros already know how it works. I'm sure the rest of you have all heard about it. And now, now you're going to see it, the answer, the derby! The supreme, the supreme test of energy and endurance. Ten solid, wrenching minutes of wreck and ruin. The Derby. Good, 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 good. Because you're in for an exciting extravaganza, Yowza, the Derby. And if I may be permitted to share a thought with you, there's a lesson for all of us in it, ladies and gents. Contestants, if you hear me back there. You don't need to be number one as you amble down life's highway. But don't be last. Round and round and round they'll go for ten little minutes. Who will set the pace? Who will win the race? Everybody excepting the last three couples. Let's go! And now... Ready, folks, because three couples are about to go bye bye. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Nurses and house physician, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? 
Have you heard anything yet, Mr. Graber? Don't worry about it, Alice. I've reported it to the authorities. We should hear something soon. It can't just have disappeared. I mean, somebody must have taken it. It's not just my dress, it's my, my makeup and everything. I have nothing else. The doctor's decision is Lillian Kramer stays on in the marathon. The doctor assures me Lillian just has a slight sinus headache. Headache. For all that quack knows, she's... She's got a brain to me. No, I don't think so. 
Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I think it's different with the brain, too. Different symptoms. Yeah, how do you know? I saw it in a movie. With Anita Louise and Richard Cromwell. That's what she died of, Anita Louise. A brain tumor, but it was different. Everything just suddenly got dim for her one day. Until finally she couldn't see at all. She couldn't even see Richard Cromwell when she kissed him goodbye. Yeah? And then what, she just died? Kind of. She just drifted off listening to her favorite tune. And then she was dead. No pain or anything? <sighs> they probably lied. Hey. Hey, come on, kid. Come on. Come on. Break shoulder. Come on. Tommy? Yes, sir. It's stupid. Hey, Frank. We got yeah? a dead one here. Give me that ammonia. Know where you are? Come on. Give him another dose. No. Leave him alone. You all right? Hang on. Oh. You sure you can make it? It's gonna be okay, man. I asked him, not you. Sure. Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, I'm all right. Just like in marriage, folks, these kids have got to get off by themselves once in a while. But exhausted as they are, it's tougher to stay on their feet alone. So keep your eyes on them, because it may be all over soon for one of these brave, struggling kids.
Victrola. Oh, oh, no. 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 I won't help her now. Oh, Cheryl? Oh, she's crawling on me. Listen to me, Cheryl. Listen to me. They're crawling on me. Where are they? Tell me. Tell me where they are. Here. On your arm. Yes. Here. Here. On your shoulder. There. They're all gone. Quite a technique. I would have thought you'd put it on display, charge a little extra. No, it's too real. Gloria. I um, hope that little episode in there didn't shake you up too much. No. Ten minutes rest, folks, and then the dance goes on and on. Remember, one admission entitles you to stay as long as you like. So while the kids are resting and being attended to by our medical staff, why don't you visit our beautiful Palm Garden, where we serve refreshments of all types. Thank you, thank you, yowza. Yeah, it looks kind of like her dress. It is. You can tell just looking at it. Well, even if it is her dress, it's ruined now. There's nothing I can do about it. But aren't you going to try to find out? I mean, somebody stole it and ripped it all up. Mm. 
maybe you should call everyone together and try and find out who did it. It wasn't one of the kids. How do you know? Because I took it. But why? For the good of the show. That's what we're all interested in, isn't it? The show. No, it's a contest. Isn't that what it's supposed to be? Isn't that what you advertised? A contest. Not for them. For you, maybe, but not for them. You think they're laying out two bits of throw just to watch you poke your head up into the sunlight? Or Alice look like she just stepped out of a beauty parlor? They don't give a damn whether you win or James and Ruby or Mario and Jackie or the man on the moon and little Miss Muffet. They just want to see a little misery out there so they can feel a little better, maybe. They're entitled to that. Look, look at us. We're all like this now. Dirty, swollen feet, no sleep. What do you want? Isn't that enough? Sure. As long as they can believe in it. But how can they with Alice looking like she's on her way to a ball at Buckingham Palace? She was breaking the spell. Now she looks like she's supposed to. So now they can believe in her. Simple enough. Why don't you go sack out while you got a little break time left? It's almost over. We can't. Somewhere, please, anywhere. Try put it down. Yes, me. Who me? Talk to me. Talk to me, Robert. What about? What about you? About yourself? About where you went with the buttons? About where you grew up? Tell me. Tell me where you were born. Chicago. I was born in Chicago. Chicago. I've never been there. I, I can't imagine it. Tell me about your family. What does your father do? He's dead. He was a pharmacist, but he died. It's God, Alice. It's Paul. Paul has it. He got the flu and he died. It's God. I can't get it undone. What should I do? Paul has it. Did you have brothers and sisters? No. I had a brother. He died at the sun. Guess what his name was? Try to get oh, My brother. I don't know. Guess, just guess. I don't know. It's easy. George, I... Robert. No.
Alice, I... Don't. Don't. After we give your play, I'll have a number of Perfect. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our own Russ Colombo, Mr. Coley James. Don't touch me. Don't.
60 at the beaches and 60... <laughs> I've changed my mind. Your partner's waiting for you. She was leaning against the railing. She was completely relaxed, completely comfortable. I didn't have a perfect view, but I could see enough of her face and lips to see that she was Smiling. One thousand hours! And to help us celebrate the occasion, Jeff Maxson and his music. Take it away, Jeff. Yowza! One thousand hours of continuous dancing. 42 days of grueling, branding, gravity-defying gyration. And here they still are, 21 courageous couples still dancing. And how long before one of them and just one will survive to win the Monster Marathon? Gloria. Who's that? No one. You wanna talk? No. I wish you'd go back to her. Oh, you know what she thinks. That didn't happen. You want to move on the other side? No. Sleep? No. What the hell do you want? Anyone ever tell you? Yeah, they told me.
the center of the floor. Those people are paying for it to see you. Come on. Said he was gonna be here. I mean, if there was a prize for me, she'd have won. Um, glasses, short, balding guy. Pits like from acne. Christ, you shouldn't have been screaming. You it's get that mangy mud out of here. You ain't bringing no animal into my boarding house. Going on a ten-day Western at monogram. I wouldn't have brought him back to my way. Maybe something for me in it. Something. He just followed me. That's all. Maybe. And I wouldn't have kept him except she started screaming. I hope he wasn't screaming. I said I'd tell her husband she was screwing one of the boarders. Um, which she probably was. But he was, uh, he was sick inside with something. Her husband? No. On the border? No, for Christ's sake, the dog. And it kept getting worse, so he'd shake all the time and dirty himself all over. And whine and cry all night long. Stupid damn thing. He kept whimpering and hollering and wouldn't shut up. I mean, what the hell is God doing sitting around up there? What the hell good is he if he can't even make one of the lousy, sick dogs shut up and stop waking up her goddamn borders? And you know what I did? See, after everybody had gone to bed, I, I carried him down to the parlor. And she had this mohair sofa. It was her favorite one. And I fixed him a place on it. What the hell? Forget it.
you'd be sleeping. I'd just wake up. You want anything? Something for your feet? How about a saw? I mean, is there anything the doctor can give you? Something to make you feel better? What's he got? Some aspirin. That's what I figured. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen him all right. Boy, that's a real sweetheart you picked this time around. Just like that. And I'm the one that's got to tell Rocky. Cheers. Don't give me any of that song and dance crap. What's going on? That's exactly what appears to be going on. I've shaved, I've changed, and I am now packing. For what? I have a job. It's not much of a job, but it's a job. Ten days of the monogram western. You bastard! You're not running out on me. No? Just stand there and watch, sweetheart. Will she make it? Will she make it? After over 1,100 hours of incredible endurance, there she is, alone, but still fighting, still hoping, still trusting Gloria Beatty. 17 hours, that's all she has left. Will she find a new partner before those hours run out? Will fortune reward her pluck and spirit? Will she make it? I ain't quitting. I'm not gonna give up. Have the tabs. Yeah, pretty much the same. Don't close down. Clean yourself. What happens if I don't get a partner? Well, you've got 11, almost 12 hours. I can count. What happens? You know the rules. You could change them. The crowd's got to have something they believe in. Once they quit believing, they quit coming. Anything else, but not that. Tommy, we got a dead one. Cheryl, isn't that right, folks? So long, Cheryl. But don't despair. Every heart of this room is with you, and that's what really counts. It's hard on all of us, 
after we've lived all these hours and weeks together, to see one of these wonderful, courageous kids fall out. But life goes on, and so does the marathon. Taking a little spill. He's all right. Don't leave him alone. He's all right. 
Get her out of here. Please. Oh, come on, Taylor. You're Get her right. out of here. No, he's going to be all right. Well, what are they doing to him? He's going to be all right. I've just had a message from our house physician. Nothing in the least serious, just a case of heat prostration. And I understand that Harry, crusty old salt that he is, wanted to stay on in the marathon, but the doc says no, and when it comes to something like this, the doctor's word is law. It's gonna be all right. So long, sailor. But we know you'll be back to see us and to cheer the other kids on. You have 10 minutes to enjoy yourself in our beautiful palm garden. It's going to hurt you. Don't you want to come out now? It might catch cold in there. You don't want to do that to him. Please. I just want to help you. I just want to turn off the water, that's all. I just want to turn off the handle. All right, I won't. If you don't want me to. Tell me. Whatever it is, you can tell me. You touched me. Oh. You touched me.
someone scream. That was you, Alice. statement to the court before sentence is passed. No. No, sir. Come in, come in, kids. Just sit down and make yourselves comfortable. I know this is your rest period, so just sit down and rest. I had a little notion, kids, something that could help the show, something that could benefit all of us, and it in particular could benefit the two of you. And at the same time, give the folks out there something to get worked up about. What are you gonna do, put us in cages and let them throw peanuts at us? No, all kidding aside. Who's kidding? The thing I want is I want you two kids to get married. Right here on the dance floor, a public wedding. I mean, you get divorced right after the show if you want. It's just for effect. What do you say to that, Robert? I don't know. I guess so. He says no. Does she do all the talking for you, Robert? That's right. <laughs> Well, Robert, maybe it would be better if just her and me discussed it. Okay? Yeah, sure. But the idea is okay with you. That's what you said, right? No, sir. I didn't say that at all. All I said was... Well, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It'd just be a minute. What's your problem? You're afraid of getting married? You're not happy until you've screwed everything up, are you? Now, wait a minute. Wait. I'm not marrying anybody. It's business. Strictly business, for God's sakes. Look, you come out with something. New clothes. Plenty of free gifts, silverware, waffle irons, toasters, that kind of stuff. What am I going to do with crap like that? Sell it, Hockett! Look, for God's sakes, I'm trying to help you a little. If you come out with two or three hundred bucks, that's something. Unless you want to walk out of here with the pennies they're throwing at you. Yeah? And what if just maybe we win? Look, sweetheart, I've been in this business a long time. I may not know a winner when I see one. I sure as hell can spot a loser. You son of a bitch. Maybe. Do you want to come out of this with a couple hundred bucks or don't you? The winners get 750 apiece. Right. Less the bills. What bills? Look, this marathon don't run itself, you know. I got bills stacked up every day. I keep tabs. You kids cost me money. Extra laundry, cleaning, phone calls, medical bills, you name it. What is this? It's the tabs and you and Robert. You're charging me this? Only if you win. If you don't win, you don't pay. I'm not out to cheat anybody. Oh, jeez. 
Jesus. Gloria, we have to get back. the other one. Well, don't just stand there. Why don't you help me? What does it look like exactly? Like this. What do you think it's going to look like? A necktie? I'll tell you one thing. I'm not leaving this goddamn stinkhole without it. That's the last pair I got. I cut out streetcars for a month to get them. Is this it? No, for Christ's sake, it's silk. I found it. Here it is. Is this it? it up or something, you know, it's sort of sew it up. Boy, let me see it. Maybe you can sew it up. I've still got 71 cents. Maybe, maybe I'll get Shut up! It's not the goddamn stalking anyway. Forget it.
used to love to look at the ocean. Walk by it. Just sit and listen to it. Now I don't care if I ever see it again. That. Or anything else. What are you going to do now? Try the movies again? Maybe it wouldn't make no difference even if I did. Maybe it's just the whole damn world is like central casting. They got it all rigged before you ever show up. I know what you mean. I know just what you mean. Do you? I'm going to get off its merry-go-round. I'm so sick of the whole stinking thing. What thing? Life. And don't give me no sunshine lectures. I wasn't going to. Then what were you looking at me that way for? I was just trying to see your face. We'll keep looking. Stick around for the end. Tell me when. I'm ready.
Why'd you do it, kid? She asked me to. <laughs> Obliging bastard. That's the only reason you got, kid. They shoot horses, don't they? Yowza, yowza, yowza! Here they are again, these wonderful, wonderful kids, still struggling, still hoping. As the clock of fate ticks away, the dance of destiny continues. The marathon goes on and on and on. How long can they last? Let's hear it. Come on. Let's hear it. Let's hear it.